Right on me. Today, I have for you a very serious vlog episode about very serious coffee. Clean. Yes, it's a very special day. It's coffee day. We gonna drink coffee today. We gonna drink a lot of coffee today. When drinking coffee, it helps if you drink good coffee, obviously. And it also helps from what I've noticed to have a bit of facial hair, looking like you are very meditative, like you've read a lot of books. I'm kind of a big deal. Yeah, I think I will. How about a little mustache? Oh yeah, not bad. My troop, my regiment, they were attacked by the Nazis. The Nazi war soldiers. Chin strap. Oh, 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 oh. yeah, oh, pour les vous français. Hit him with the Johnny Depp. Yeah, there we go. That is a bit better. I'm Harry again! And every last inch of me is covered with hair. I'm Harry Truman, baby. Now we can talk some real coffee. Come on. Yo! I'm here with one of my favorite all-time coffee snobs. His palate cannot be doubted. Rory James. I'm a North Carolina. Tell me, where are we at today, Mr. Rory? We're at Luce Avenue, Houston. This is the uh, second second location in the world. The coffee here is really nice, really wonderful. They actually roast it in the back. You should get some of that. That's when you know. Almond milk cortado, uh, it's not sweet, but it's still kind of filling. And why Luce? The coffee tastes good. Like, really, really good. Also, I noticed that the passion of everyone who makes the coffee in here really, really, really give this, I give this a good, um, a good solid four. Solid four, I like it. Four feels good. He's saving the five. Saving okay, the remember five. that. Jeff, what do we have here? Uh, seems to be some sort of cinnamon based beverage. <laughs> a delicious looking cappuccino. I'm gonna go in with a spoon. Okay. He's going in with a spoon. Now, this is the proper way to taste a coffee beverage. <laughs> Boom. Review Cinnamon. Cinnamony. I'm gonna go 3.75. Just the right amount, not bitter either, just really the right amount of smoothness because of the, the cream. Lots of cream in the... Like a biatch. Hey! How you doing? Um, <laughs> so, yeah, if he, if he says, if he says this is the spot, the spot, because he's the coffee snob of coffee snobs. Okay. First thing we do in a hand pick on site, you know, right after we roast. Awesome. So we do the, everything in hand processing. So that's how we differentiate between big company and the smaller company. This past year, I traveled LA, Cambria, Big deal. Uh, New York, Boston, all over the place. And what I realized, some of the best coffee, some of the best food in, um, really in America, in my opinion. And I'm gonna put Houston up like that. I'm gonna say 
in America, the H. But what I did want to highlight today for you is some of the fantastic stuff. You have to come out and try it for yourself. Obviously, it's just a video. You're not going to be able to, to smell the beautiful aromas. Right now, I'm highlighting a place called Catalina Coffee, and it's oh, pretty stinking amazing. It's delicious stuff, and I'm going to uh, review a little bit of coffee for you here and, and, and just give you the vibe, just show you, show you what's going on around here. My turn to try the almond milk cortado at Catalina Coffee. I've had this before, so I know that it's a fantastic drink. I'm getting the shakes a little bit. <sighs> One thing I love about this area is it's very close to downtown and uh, also very close to the Heights. So if you're going either way, you can grab a cup here and really when we come here we make a day out of it <laughs> usually we come here with intention of being here because uh, it's great vibes it's great coffee and uh, local to just about everything so i know what you're thinking what's the rating bro this almond milk cortado i'm gonna go with 4.6 delicious and one of the more drinkable cortados i've ever had Sitting on the top of the roof, the bridge is on mine, steam engines roll by, the bridges fall down, and so do my dreams. Especially excited about this place I'm about to show you. It is brand new. It's only a few months old, really. Called Blendin Coffee Club. It's in Sugarland. So this has come as a fantastic revelation. We waited for it. It's finally here. And then when it did get here, it was more awesome than we had even hoped for. So we're gonna try a little coffee. We're gonna give some probably some good ratings today because it's, it's coffee that I've had more than once. That's for sure. The official review, Coffee Snob Jeff, Coffee Snob Rob. Let's see how she does. This is the V60. Cheers, man, right here. I'm gonna cheers you here too. This is the V60 from Kenya. Ooh. Jeff, is it amazing? Super smooth. Obviously super smooth. I'm tasting notes of honey. There's a berry in there, citrus. A little bit of an oaky afterbirth. A sort of an oaky afterbirth. Mm. <laughs> this is one of the best cups of coffee that you can get in the Houston region, in my opinion. And I've tried them all. That's not true. I've tried some of them. I've tried them all. He's tried them all. <laughs> there he is. Hey. The man. There. We've been waiting for this place to open up for so long. I gave you the idea and uh, kind of what the vision is behind. Uh, what you're doing here at Linden Coffee Club. Oh, uh, so, um, what gives me the idea is actually, I uh, through the process I learned about coffee, basically learned every step from the tree to the cup, and that's why I got into coffee. How I got into coffee is I drink a good cup of coffee, and I love it, and I couldn't go back to yeah. <laughs> drink bad coffee. Uh, it used to be a mobile bank, it's just that part. Yeah. And you are, do you mind me asking you how old you are, Mr. Weho? Hi, ho! I am 31. <laughs> That's a year younger than I am, and he has his own coffee place here. He knows every process of, you know, coffee, and I just think that's admirable. Where do you get uh, most of your beans from, if you don't mind my asking? You said you go to the farm. So, the, the process is basically, the importers, uh, importers will send me the samples of the bean, and I will do a blend cupping and score them and the highest the score will be on the purchasing list. Just follow the baristas that work somewhere else. Where do they go when they get off? 
It's blend in. Now you know. Now you know where you, all your friends have been coming to and not telling you about. So make sure you make it out here. Thanks again. I don't want to shake Thank your you. hand sitting down, but I really yeah. appreciate it. I'm counting on you and whoa, whoa, young man. I'm counting on you to get me to the other side. this entry maybe the best vibe it's called honeymoon and it is smack dab in downtown Ooh, ready! those people did not care for my life they didn't they were not concerned if I lived or died that's one of the downsides of downtown this is my selection for downtown or anywhere near it you got to come to honeymoon I like that it's called honeymoon because coffee's so good I Almost go down to one knee for it. Coffee cocktails, who ever heard of such a thing? I guess coffee cocktails are, if you want to be awake enough to feel your butt. Let's go on in and see what's up. Today is her birthday. <laughs> Not really, but um, she is 28. Um, I cut this myself last night. Did you? Yeah. I love that. So it's a lot like a cappuccino, so the same uh, ratio of espresso to milk, except that the milk is not aerated uh, as much, so it's not going to be as frothy. It's going to be smoother uh, and creamier. Clean. Um, than a cappuccino. Creamier than a cappuccino. Clean. Give yourself a tulip situation. Beauty. Oh my god. Okay. Have no. I'm getting the shakes a little bit. Yeah. Kind of match the wallpaper. Camouflage. Camouflage. I've had too much coffee at this point, and I am just about to do a cartwheel <laughs> all up in this cute little quiet atmosphere place. That's great. Shout out to Boomtown Coffee <laughs> Roasters. Um, I mean, it's just as smooth as all get out. It's just smooth as Vaseline on a baby's bottom. Coffee's the last thing I should be drinking right now, but <laughs> Pump up up! Pump them up on the chalkboard! You're going up! Hey guys, thanks for watching Roggy Vlogs. Gonna be a lot more to come. I'm working on it right now. We're slaving away. I'm gonna be doing a lot of reviews on food, some tastings of things, some tryings of things, my thoughts about politics. Um, just gonna drop some general knowledge on you. Be sure to tune in, check it out. Roggy Vlogs, like and subscribe. Thanks so much. See you next time.